Hi guys! So I finally got my Russian Orthodox icon. Not sure if you can see this. Oh, perhaps now. Anyway, so it's an uh, Orthodox icon. <coughs> it's painted on wood panel. And it's of a new marcher in uh, Russia from the Chechnya war and his name is uh, Evgeny Radionov uh, not sure if I pronounced that correctly, sorry anyway, so my interest in icons is basically not my interest it's my significant other's interest she's an art conservator and she has worked in a Russian Orthodox monastery and we usually visit uh, Russian Orthodox churches and monasteries whenever we can, when we're in uh, Eastern Europe and in Russia, which we've been several times. So we have a lot of them at home. And uh, <coughs> this one is special. Usually it's uh, saints and uh, like uh, Maria with the sun and uh, uh, yeah. basically people from the Bible. <laughs> but there's a lot of saints as well. And this guy has an interesting story. It was, he was a border guard in uh, the Chechnya war and he was kidnapped by uh, Chechnya Muslims and they saw his orthodox cross around his neck and they told him that either you remove your cross and convert to Islam or we behead you and he refused and they beheaded him. So long story short, after a while his mother uh, managed to find his body and got wind of the story and Basically, uh, Russian television made a program about this, and uh, by popular opinion, he basically was canonized as a saint. He's not officially a saint, but uh, in all respects, he is a saint but with the Russian people. And uh, Russian soldiers has his pictures in their chest pocket and when we're going to battle and stuff like that. So this is a very original uh, icon. It depicts him with a red cloak like the Archangel Gabriel and similar uh, uh, pictures but he also has camouflage clothes and an AK over his back <laughs> holding the Orthodox cross with a uh, Gloria around his head and he's depicted as a marcher and a warrior, warrior. Uh, icons are interesting, they're not uh, they're not pictures of anything, uh, according to orthodox belief. They're a portal to divinity. And there are certain rituals that need to be performed on an icon before it becomes official. It has to be basically blessed and uh, be in a church for a certain amount of time and stuff like that. It's quite complicated. So this is not uh, technically an, a real icon. Also, it's not hand-painted. This is a print. Uh, and there's some other technical things they've done wrong with this. They're ob it's obviously not experts that made this. <coughs> like the paneling is sideways instead of diagonal. So when it gets old and swells, it's gonna swell in the wrong direction and stuff like that. But it's still a nice piece. It wasn't expensive. I think uh, with uh, shipping about seventy dollars. So uh, it's okay for what it is. We have original icons as well at home, but uh, this is going to be a nice addition and I'm really going to enjoy this. Have a nice